Okay, I will show you guys a few examples so that the area of the rectangle and its parameter have the same numerical value. So here we go, and let me just write down, this is what we want. I want the area to be the same as the parameter. And of course, we're talking about rectangles. And if you would like, you can put down this as the length and this as the width. Well, for the area of a rectangle, it's just length times width, so it's just L times W. And for the parameter, of course, you go around the rectangle one time, you have two of the L plus two of the W, like that. And this is how we can approach it. Hmm, maybe you can move this to the other side, so we get L, W minus 2L equals 2W. And, and you see that both terms have L, so you can just factor out the L times the rest, which is W minus 2, to be 2W. And of course, you can just divide this on both sides, so we get L is equal to 2W over W minus 2, like this. Therefore, this is the connection that we want in order to have the same area and the parameter. And now you can just pick whatever you want for W. Of course, it has to be somewhat legitimate. You cannot pick W to be 1, because otherwise you get negative length, so that's not good. So you can say, you can pick, let me just write it down, W to be, and if you want whole number, of course, I can start with 3. And you will see that L is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 minus 2, and on the top is 6, divided by 1, which is just 6. So in another word, we are saying we want the rectangle like this, 6 here and 3 here. And if you look at this, the area is, which is of course, 3 times 6, which is 18, and the parameter is 3, 9, 12, 18. And that's pretty much it. And of course, you can do another example. You can say, pick hmm, W to be 10. Plugging 10, you get L equals to 2 times 10 over 10 minus 2, and you see this is 20 over 8, and you can reduce that, we'll use fraction, or decimal, up to you, 2.5 if you use decimal. Anyway, you can draw a picture real quick. This time, I will label 2.5 here, and then 10 right here. And seriously, do it on your own, you will see that the area, it will be the same as the parameter, and you will be 25. So, this is not that bad at all, but of course, we can somewhat make this question slightly more challenging. Can you find rectangles so that they have whole number, length, and width, such as this one right here, that this rectangle has the same area and the parameter? Of course, once again, the numerical value. You see, earlier, if I pick W to be 10, yes, W is whole number, but the length is not whole number anymore. So, you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Just give me more examples, or maybe find out all the examples, or maybe show me, hmm, um, you know, it's not possible anymore. And I'll give you guys another example. If you let W equal to 4, well, W will be whole number, and the length will also be whole number. You guys can check that out and work that out. But if you guys can find me more examples, you know, leave a comment down below. Anyway, that's it.